dear students of the School of Business, Bangladesh Open University. Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all in today's program. Today's topic, accounting equation as an aid for preparing the financial statements has been selected from the course MBA 1303 Financial Accounting. However, the students of all our program, that is Commonwealth Executive MBA, regular MBA, BBA, PGDM will also be benefited from this program. Since this course is included in financial accounting related course of all the programs. The teaching and learning of financial accounting nowadays has been shifted from the regular accounting process to the transaction analysis and preparation of accounting equation. That is without following the process that is recording the transaction in the journal, then posting the transaction from journal to ledger T accounts, summarizing the transaction that is the preparation of trial balance and the preparation of financial statements. We can also prepare the four financial statements with the help of accounting equation. Therefore, the objectives of today's program are showing how the transactions affect the accounting equation and preparing the four financial statements that is the income statement, statement of equity, cash flow statement and the balance sheet. As we start, let us recall the accounting equation. With the starting of the business, the financial position of an entity can be expressed as assets equals to liabilities plus equity. As we further expand the accounting equation, that is we consider the components of accounting equation, we can have the equation like this. That is assets equals to liabilities plus capital plus retained earning. That is the owner's equity has two components which is contributed capital or capital and the retained earning. Retained earning is affected by three components or three elements. That is the revenue, expenses, dividend or drawing. Dear students, you can understand the revenue has a positive relationship with retained earning. That is as the revenue increases, the retained earning will also increase. And as the expenses increases and dividend or drawing increases, it will decrease the retained earning for the organization. So expenses and dividend has a negative or inverse relationship with the retained earning of the organization. Dear students and the viewer, you can also recall that there are four ways the transactions can affect the accounting equation. Let us try to understand that. Look at the screen. The first option is if the transaction affects both the side of an equation, that is if it affects the asset side and the liabilities and owner's equity side and if one asset increases any of the components of liabilities and or equities will also increase. A second option can be if the asset decreases, any of the liability or owner's equity component will decrease. A third option can be if the transaction only affects the asset side, then one asset will increase and with the corresponding decrease of another asset. Then the other side will be not affected. And when the transaction affects the right side of the equation, that is the claim side or liability and owner's equity side, then one component will increase with corresponding decrease in another component and the left side, that is the asset side, will be then not affected. For the first case, that is one, when one asset increases with corresponding decrease in another asset, we call it asset source transaction. When one asset decreases with corresponding decrease in any liability or equity component, we call it asset use transaction. The third option that is when one asset increases, another asset decreases, it is asset exchange transaction and when the transaction only affects the right side of the equation, it is called the claim exchange transaction. Dear students, to understand today's topic, let us consider a problem from our book that is Financial Accounting MBA 1303. We will consider problem number 5 in page number 38, unit 1 of lesson 4. 
I have also considered an additional transaction with the transactions given in this problem. For example, the transaction I have uh, considered is borrowing from bank Taka 10,000, which you will see later on in the screen. So, in total, there are 11 transactions. Now, one by one, we will consider the transactions and we will try to see how these transactions will affect the accounting equation. On April 1st, Laura Sill established the Sill Travel Agency. The transactions are, number one, invested Taka 20,000 cash in Corner State Bank in the name of the agency. Now let us see how the transaction will affect the accounting equation. You can see in the screen that for the first transaction, cash has been increased by 20,000 and re, uh, the contributed capital or the capital has also been increased by 20,000 Taka. The second transaction, which is pay Taka 400 cash for April office rent. Now look at the accounting equation again. Cash will decrease by 400, which is given within parenthesis since this is a negative balance or cash outflow is there. At the same time, it is an example of an expense. That is why the retained earning will also decrease. You can look at the retained earning column that retained earning has been decreased by 400 taka. Third column, third transaction purchased office equipment for Taka 2500 cash. For this transaction, there is also a cash outflow. So, look at the cash column again, 2500 Taka has been decreased within parenthesis, it is shown again. And the same transaction will affect the office equipment column. So, for 2500 asset has been increased. This is called again asset exchange transaction. Transaction number four, incurred Taka 300 of advertising costs in the Chicago Tribune on account. Let us look at the accounting equation again. For this transaction, accounts payable has been increased by 300 dollar, 300 Taka since this is a non-cash transaction, so a liability will increase. At the same time, this is an expense also. That is why the retained earning will also decrease. Transaction number five, paid Taka 600 cash for office supplies. Dear students, when we purchase supplies until and unless we use the supplies, this should be recorded as an asset. So look at the accounting equation or the tabular analysis cash is decreasing. There is a cash outflow and within parenthesis in the cash column Taka 600 is there. Supplies has been increased by 600 Taka. Transaction number 6, earned Taka 9000 for services rendered. Cash of Taka 1000 is received from the customer and the balance of Taka 8000 is billed to customers on account which means out of Taka 9000, we have collected only 1000. And for the rest of the amount, that is for 8000 Taka, the accounts receivable will increase. Look at the screen, the effect of the accounting equation. In the cash column, $1,000, 1000 Taka has been increased. And, and in the accounts receivable column, 8000 Taka has been increased. On the other hand, in the right side of the accounting equation, the retained earning has been increased by 9000 Taka since revenue increases retained earning. Transaction number 7, withdrew Taka 200 cash for personal use. In this case, there is a cash outflow of 200 Taka. So, this 200 Taka has been shown in the cash column within parenthesis. This is a negative figure. The same way, drawing or dividend will decrease the retained earning. So, the same amount will affect the retained earning column and the retained earning has been decreased by 200 Taka. Let us consider transaction number 8. 
paid Chicago Tribune amount due in transaction 4. You can recall transaction 4, there was an account payable of 300 taka. Now we are making the payment for this 300 taka. So obviously cash will decrease by 300 taka and you can see in the cash column that 300 taka is within parenthesis. The same way there was an account payable which will decrease now. So for 300 taka account payable has been decreased. Transaction number 9, paid employee salary taka 1200. This is again a cash outflow. So by 1200 taka cash has been decreased and it has affected the cash column. And this is an expense again. So this will also reduce the retained earning. So 1200 is shown in the retained earning column within parenthesis. Transaction number 10, receive taka 8000 is, is cash from customers who have previously been billed in transaction 6. Dear students, you can recall transaction number 6 where we have provided services out of which 1000 was collected right away but another 8000 was due. Now we are receiving that 8000 taka. So cash will increase by 8000 now that has been shown in the cash column and the same way the accounts receivable has been decreased by 8000 taka. This is an asset exchange transaction. Transaction number 11, which we have added with the given transactions. Students, this is not given in your book, but we have considered an additional transaction. Borrowing from bank, 10,000 taka. Again, cash will increase. So, in the cash column, cash has been increased by 10,000 taka. And borrowing under the liability component has been increased by 10,000 taka. Now, let us make the total of the different columns of the accounting equation. The cash column has a balance of 33,800 taka. Look at the accounts receivable column. Since all of 8,000 taka have been received from the customers, there is no ending balance of accounts receivable. For supplies, the supplies was not used so far. So all of supplies is still with the end of the year. Office equipment, 2,500. In the right side of the accounting equation, we have 10,000 taka from borrowing. Accounts payable, same way there is no balance since all of 300 taka was paid to the creditors. There are 20,000 taka for contributed capital or capital and for retained earning, we have considered the revenue, expenses and the drawing. So we have an ending balance of 6,900 taka in the retained earning column. Dear students, as you know that the transactions affect the accounting equation in such a way that the total assets are always equals to the total of liability and owner's equity. We have total assets of 36,900 and total liability and owner's equity of 36,900 taka. Now, as you can recall, what was the objective of today's program that without following the total process of accounting, only with the help of accounting equation, how can we prepare the four financial statements? Now, we will see how we can prepare the four financial statements with the help of accounting equation. The four financial statements are the income statement, statement of equity, the cash flow statement and the balance sheet. Dear students, now look at the screen how we have prepared the income statement. When we prepare the income statement, we will consider the retained earning column. Remember, the retained earning column of the accounting equation has all the data and information for the preparation of an income statement. Total service revenue is Taka 9000. From revenue, we have subtracted expenses. We have three different expenses, rent 400, advertising 300, salaries 1200. So the total expenses are 1900 taka, leaving a net income of 7100 taka for the year. So what we can learn from here that only with the help of the retained earning column of the accounting equation, we can prepare an income statement. Dear students, 
It is also important when you prepare the financial statements to write down the headings in a proper way. Look at the statement of equity. First of all, you have to write down the name of the organization that is SIL Travel Agency. Then you write down the name of the statement. Now we are showing the statement of equity. And in the third line, you have to write down the period that is for the month ended on April 30. Look at the statement of changes in equity. Equity has two components. One is capital, another one is retained earning. There is a proper format to be followed. We we'll start with the beginning balance of retained earning, beginning balance of contributed capital. We do not have any beginning balance of capital. Capital acquisition, that is capital investment by the owner in the current year is 20,000 taka. So the ending balance of capital is 20,000 taka. Retained earning, on the other hand, there is no beginning balance again. Net income, 7,100. From net income, we have subtracted the drawing or dividend, which is 200 taka. So the ending balance of retained earning is 6,900 taka. The total ending balance of equity or owner's equity is 26,900 taka. Dear students, what is important for you to understand from this statement that again, if you just follow the two columns of the accounting equation, that is the owner's equity column, contributed capital column and the retained earning column, they, these two columns are enough to support the preparation of the financial statement which is statement of equity. From the capital column, you can collect the data for the capital, that is the ending balance of capital. And from the retained earning column, you will have the sufficient or proper data for the retained earning figures, that is the beginning balance of retained earning, if any, and you will consider the revenue, expenses, and the dividend or the drawing, which is also provided by the retained earning column. And that is how you can prepare the statement of equity by the help of these two columns of the accounting equation. Dear students, now let us prepare another important financial statement, which is the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement can be prepared only considering the cash column of the asset side of the accounting equation. The cash column will provide you all the data and information, sufficient data and information for the preparation of cash flow statement. You know that when we prepare the cash flow statement, we consider three type of activities. Cash flow from operating activity, we consider the inflow and outflow. Cash flow from financing activity, we consider the inflow and outflow. And cash flow from investing activity, we also consider the inflow and outflow from, for these cases. First, let us consider the cash flow from operating activity. For inflow, we have service revenue of 9,000 taka, which can be collected from the cash column of the accounting equation. The outflow or the expenses, that is operating activity outflows are office rent 400 taka, advertising 300 taka, salaries 1,200 taka, and the office supplies 600 taka. So the net, net cash flow from operating activities, that is the difference between inflow and outflow is 6,500 taka. Let us consider the cash flow from financing activity, how the organization is financing itself. What are the sources? There are two sources that an organization can finance itself from debt financing and from equity financing. Capital, that is equity financing, is $20,000 that we can have from the cash column. And borrowing, which is debt financing, that is 10,000 taka. The outflow is only the drawing or the dividend, which is 200 taka. So the net cash flow from financing activity is 29,800 taka. Cash flow from investing activity, inflow, there is no inflow from investing activity. For outflow, 
recall that we have purchased an equipment for 2500 taka that is an outflow from investing activity that you can also have from the cash column of the accounting equation. So, the net cash flow from investing activity is a negative figure which has been shown within parenthesis 2500 taka. So, as you consider the net cash flow from all these three activities that is net cash flow from operating activity, financing activity and the investing activity that is equals to 33,800 taka. As we add the beginning balance, we do not have any beginning balance, but we have shown it in the format. So, the total ending balance of cash is 33,800 taka. Dear students, look at the cash column of the accounting equation. We have exactly the same amount in the cash column of the accounting equation, which is also 33,800. So, you can understand how the accounting equation helps us for the preparation of financial statements. Only with the help of the cash column, we can prepare the cash flow statement. The final one, which is the balance sheet. Actually, the total assets and the total liabilities and owner's equity makes the balance sheet. The heading of the balance sheet, when we write the date on the top of the balance sheet, we write it on a particular date. So, first of all, we write the name of the organization, write the name of the financial statement. Here it is the balance sheet and as at April 30. Remember that balance sheet is prepared on a particular date, but the other three financial statements are prepared for a given period. As we consider the total assets, we have cash 33,800, office supplies 600 and the equipment 2,500. These are the figures which have been extracted as the ending balance of the asset columns of the accounting equation. So, the total assets are 36,900 taka. Now, look at the liabilities and equities, borrowing 10,000, capital 20,000, retained earning 6,900. So, the total liabilities and equities are also exactly 36,900 taka. So, these total assets and liabilities and equities are also collected from the accounting equation. These are actually the ending balances of the accounting equation. Dear students, I believe by this time it has become clear to you how can we prepare the four financial statements with the help of accounting equation. The end product or the end result of the accounting process is the preparation of four financial statements. But before that, we have to record the transactions in the journal, classify them, that is post the transaction to the ledger T accounts and summarize them, that is prepare the trial balance. But without following this process, how we can prepare the four financial statements with the help of accounting equation, that was our emphasis for today's program. The retained earning column provides enough data and information for the preparation of income statement. The capital column and the retained earning column provides data and information for the preparation of statement of equity. The cash column of the accounting equation provides us data and information for the preparation of cash flow statement and the ending balances of assets, liabilities and owner's equity provides us enough data for the preparation of balance sheet. For much better understanding, please go through the text. No more today. Thanks for watching our program. Thank you very much. Thank you.